Hey, the YouTubes. Hey, the YouTubes. For this is for the people that like blue stacks. So there's a few things. So I just um, switched to my other computer, and I'm just showing you guys a little some stuff on the other computer. So when I set up my blue stacks, there's usually two things that I do that makes it a little bit more enjoyable for me. First of all, I add more RAM to it, which makes it less laggy. So where you add the RAM is, um, so you got to first go to Start, Search, Reg, Edit, and then pull up Reg Edit. And then inside of Reg Edit, you then travel to HKey Local Machine. You go to Software, go to Blue Stacks, and then you go to Guess, then Android. And then Android in here. On this particular page of Android, there's memory. You gotta double click and switch it from hexadecimal to decimal. And then you can just type in whatever you would like to add. Do know how much memory, uh, how much memory, when I say memory, I mean RAM, how much RAM your operating system has. So how much RAM your computer has in general. So my computer has plenty of RAM, so I give it three gigs. That's not three gigs exact. If I wanted to, you know, actually put it to the correct number, there'd be some additional stuff after that. I just do 3,000, okay? Close to three gigs. Not three gigs, a little bit under, but close, okay? <laughs> uh, so then I switch it to decimal, put in 3,000, click OK. It changes it to this. I believe it comes with a standard of like 700 or something like that. I boost up to 3,000. So there you go. That adds more RAM to BlueStacks. Then next, usually what I do is because BlueStacks comes default with cruddy, cruddy, cruddy uh, resolution, uh, change it to a better resolution. Uh, so what I usually do is I go to a frame buffer. So on that same page of Android, right underneath Android, the next one is frame buffer. And then inside frame buffer, there's usually this zero. So inside a zero, you're going to see some stuff in here. So you're gonna see full screen. I usually, I leave a default at a full screen. Depth, I don't care about that. Guest height and guest width. Um, you wanna find what your default is. Here's my default. A uh, quick way to find your default is right click, screen resolution, and you're gonna see what you got. I go usually by 1920 by 1080. That's for this particular one. I don't have them right now. And when I'm doing recording or whatever, I don't do uh, iInfinity because, well, <laughs> iInfinity looks great for me, but not people playing my thing. It's gonna look like a really, 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 really long screen. So I break it down to just these when I don't have iInfinity. So 1920 by 1080 is what my resolution is for this one monitor. So, then I go in here for heist. I set that 1080 in there. Once again, you gotta switch it over to decimal. Switch it in to decimal. Then I do width, the 1920. And once again, decimal is where you'll see that. And then window height as well. Hexadecimal, there you go. And once again, window width, hexadecimal, decimal. All good. And you can see then that then allows me to get the resolution rate that I prefer, which is basically 1080. So yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. I like it. So that's just a quick uh, quick thing to do, you know, if you want to uh, switch up your blue stacks a little bit and add a bit more to it, uh, that's usually what I do. So it's usually the two things that I care about the most with blue stacks. And it, it makes it, you know, better for recording as well. You don't get any black bars. Um, if you left it at its default, you'd have black bars on the left and right. You, you wouldn't have as much RAM, so things would lag a bit more. Uh, I believe there is a cap. BlueStacks only allows a certain amount of RAM. I wish they wouldn't cap it. Man, I got tons of RAM. I could, I could overload this thing with RAM. <laughs> I could probably load it in RAM and just have it run from RAM, <laughs> which is an idea. <laughs> Maybe make a chunk of... Uh, the RAM is a hard drive too. <laughs> Just do it from. But that's another story. So that's usually what I do for a quick setup for uh, BlueStacks. I do a little registry editing, and that fixes it up quite nicely, usually for me. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick one, and uh, there's a little something uh, for those that uh, use BlueStacks, uh, ways of uh, modifying it a little bit, and making it uh, faster and look a little prettier. All right, have a good ones, guys. Have a good ones. Have a good ones.